Everyone hates Karens and wishes to see them get what they deserve. Well, in today's video, we'll be looking at Karens who got owned in court. Stick around and watch, as this is going to be quite entertaining. Marlena Pavlos Hackney Marlena Pavlos Hackney ignored McKagan's food rules during the pandemic when it came to her restaurant. As such, she received several fines and found herself in court in March 2021, after her non-licensed counsel was sentenced for contempt. Pavlos Hackney didn't react well and interrupted the judge as she was being sworn in. Big mistake. The judge laid into her, slamming her for trying to control the room. She then told Pavlos Hackney that until the court changes to Burger King, she can then have it her way. Yikes. After refusing to take the oath again, Pavlos Hackney's new attorney intervened and asked to speak to her privately before proceeding. Afterward, Pavlos Hackney was fined $15,000 and spent several nights in prison. Penelope Soto. In 2013, 18-year-old Penelope Soto was charged with drug possession. She just needed to get through her bond court hearing without any shenanigans, but apparently that wasn't possible. When discussing the value of her jewelry, Soto started laughing, not taking the situation seriously. As she was dismissed, she uttered an adios, seemingly mocking the Cuban-born judge. For that, he doubled her bail to $10,000, and that's when Soto lost it. She yelled an expletive at the judge and flipped him the bird. Soto was then sentenced to 30 days in jail for contempt. A few days later, she appeared in front of the judge to apologize for her disrespectful behavior. In response, he dropped the contempt charge and the $10,000 bond. Milton Watts When Milton Watts arrived at a court in Ohio, he didn't get off to a good start. After all, he turned himself in after failing to appear on a domestic violence charge. It got worse when Watts stated that he didn't need an attorney, a big no-no. So when the judge asked him about the bond, which Watts didn't seem to grasp, he instead responded with some cursing. For that, Watts got a 30-day sentence for contempt. Watts, not learning his lesson, continued to swear, getting more and more worked up, which increased his sentence to almost a year. In the end, the contempt sentence was reduced to 90 days. Franklin Williams in 2018, Franklin Williams was in an Ohio court to hear his sentence on charges of robbery, kidnapping, and several others. Instead of being quiet and hoping that good behavior would score him a lenient term, he did the opposite. Williams wouldn't stop talking. He constantly spoke over others in the courtroom, making it a nightmare for court reporters. Time and time again, the judge asked him to stop and threatened him with being gagged. Still, Williams continued chatting. Eventually, the judge followed through on his threats. A group of deputies arrived and put red tape over William's mouth. In 2019, he was sentenced to 33 years in jail. Melissa Carone. In December 2020, after Donald Trump lost his re-election for the US presidency, his legal team went on an ill-fated trip to the Michigan House panel to discuss their beliefs on election fraud. What didn't help their case was bringing star witness Melissa Carone with them. Hired by a voting machine company as an IT contract worker during the election, she constantly spoke over people with conspiracy theories and a lack of evidence, leading to her being admonished several times. Her odd behavior and how she spoke led many to accuse her of having several drinks before her testimony. Even Rudy Giuliani tried to rein her in unsuccessfully, though. Her claims had even previously been discredited by a Michigan judge. Her bizarre appearance also sparked many parodies to add to her embarrassment. Kashante Short We've all been on terrible dates that didn't pan out the way we wanted, but not many of us have taken the other person to court to sue them for $10,000, citing emotional distress. But then, not everyone is Kashante Short. In 2022, she attended a virtual session with a judge against Richard Jordan. Short claimed Jordan stood her up on a date in 2020 that also fell on her late mother's birthday. Short who appeared to be attending the hearing at an airport, got into a yelling match with the judge as she attempted to teach him about the crime of perjury. Eventually, the judge transferred the case to circuit court. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you can see our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.